We are live. Perfect. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Arcway, a new direction of Modern Man. My name is Tulu, and today I'm going to show you guys how to dress like Nick Jonas. So I'm going to provide you guys with three different outlooks that you guys can take from his style to apply to your style. So I'm going to go through the highlights really quickly. So I'm going to break down three characteristics that you guys can pick up from his style, which would be fitted to oversize, layering, and being different with your style. So let's get into it. Yet again, guys, if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you guys subscribe to the section down below. Hit the subscribe button and join the family. So we're looking at the first outfit we're looking at is the oversized suit. And I believe the style is going to be coming back around because every cycle of fashion does a 360. And um, when it comes down to oversized suits, it's great to see him in this at the same time, the pants and how it drops. It's not tailored, it's not hemmed, it just has an old school Miami type of look. So this is a great type of look, especially when it comes into today's fashion. If you wanna be a little different with your suits, definitely incorporate oversized clothing. So here's another oversized look. As you can see, he's wearing a nice blue printed shirt. At the same time, you can see that it's like not really his size, but the way he sports it, you can see how, what I'm talking about being oversized. I think oversized is a fashion that it just needs one person to do it, to be honest. And then a lot of people will just start doing it uh, following that trend. He has an oversized shirt rolled up. He has some um, Cartier bracelets on his left hand, and then he has, at the bottom here, he has acid wash jeans, and then he has some brown Chelsea's. And one thing I'll actually change with this outfit is that I'll collaborate like a chain or something onto this as well. Um, maybe a little more um, like jewelry on his hands as well, but if you add like a 20 inch chain or like a 30 inch, it'll look really good with this whole outfit. I think you'll have a nice accent as well. So yet again, this outfit looks great, it looks proper, and let's go on to the next one. So you guys get the concept of me talking about oversized pieces of clothing. You want something that's kind of a little bit bigger than normal. At the same time, it has a nice contrast when it comes to applying it with like slim pair of pants or kind of going all baggy all over. So the next thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is a slim fit part of this as well. The great thing about Nick's style is that when it comes down to his suits and his blazers, he has it fitted all around, typically beyond the picture I just showed you before, but most of it is actually fitted. So you can just see how this double-breasted coat is fitted around his torso. See how it comes in just under his chest there. Um, it has a nice fitted type of look at the same time. This is something I'm talking about when I talk about having fitted pieces of clothing. Looking to developing a relationship with your tailor, that's the most important thing. I mentioned that in a few of my videos before, and I'm gonna keep saying it again. You wanna develop a good relationship with your tailor because they were gonna, they're basically gonna help you emphasize your characteristics about yourself. Whatever you want to slim up or you wanna make taller, you wanna emphasize your shoulders, they can help you do that. So develop that good relationship. I do enjoy seeing this a lot when people do layer the piece of clothing. It tells me that they like to dress at the same time they know how things can coordinate together. And honestly, applying more layers makes you look more professional at the same time, a little more charismatic, and you're, you're, just, a, you're just a step above the rest. And I'm telling you, if you start applying more layers into your outfits, you're going to see the changes in the people around you. At first, it's going to be tough to build the layers up, but once you start getting into the habit, and once you start applying one piece into two, into three, you'll start understanding that you do look better with layers. At the same time, it adds a little more character. It shows people that you know how to dress and you come for their occasion. You come prepared for the occasion. So um, right here, I'm going to show you guys a few different examples. Okay, so for the first look, when it comes down to layering, you can always keep it simple. And that's the first step I suggest you guys to go towards. Um, so he's wearing an all denim type of look right here. And he does apply to Chelsea's. He's wearing a nice Heather t-shirt to complement this whole outfit. Having something simple like that, it just adds to the fact that you know how to dress and you can color coat or try to coordinate your things a lot better. So having like a Heather gray t-shirt, you can just see how he likes to color coordinate his things, but at the same time, it just shows people that you know how to dress. Keeping something simple as that can make the biggest difference. One thing I challenge you guys to do is actually try some of these outfits, try these methods that I'm talking about and let me know how it worked out for you. So here's another look that it's very minimal, but at the same time, it makes a big difference in how you put it together. If you just had a normal white t-shirt, like crew neck collar, it won't be that spectacular. But once you start adding like 
a tank top like this underneath where it shows a little more chest and it shows a little more jewelry it's gonna be different not many people wear it not many people do that not many people have the confidence to wear something like that on a day-to-day -day walk out i think i think i should just end this video because i just think i should end this video because these points I'm, I'm sharing with you guys are the reason why people have crazy styles so this is what i'm talking about guys and i really like this outfit right here this nice zigzag uh top right here black pair of pants white pair of shoes nice so this is what i'm talking about and it's great to see that he has this style going on so he has a cheetah print top and bottom but the biggest thing i want the biggest takeaway i want you guys to see from this is the overcoat so he has the overcoat at the same time he has the bag on the side so it's a nice accessory to this whole look it makes it look good at the same time it comes correct on point and he's making a statement here's another simple look i really want you guys to check out and i really think you guys should really apply this into your own style you want to have something simple but at the same time you want to do something a little more to it so he has a nice rock band t-shirt his idol or inspiration then he has some sweatpants at the bottom there loungewear is always important you guys i emphasized it before i do have video on top 10 loungewear essentials you guys check out and then he has the overcoat so the overcoat is a staple to this whole look at the same time adding it with the glasses so the glasses are a nice touch to this overall loungewear look and this is what i'm talking about about layering you can even layer on your off days try layering on your off days and then get into the habits of layering on your formals here's another look i like this is kind of more of a high-end layering look right here so right here he has an overcoat a nice puffy overcoat at the same time, he has a high designer sweatshirt underneath, slim pair of pants, how he likes it. And then he looks like he has some Pumas on. I can't see, but yeah, it looks like he has some Pumas on, but also he has a pair of glasses. So to me, this outfit is top notch. I like how it is. At the same time, it looks on point with his fashion. I like how this whole fit comes together, color coordinated. It represents the style of the overfit and the slim fit mixed together. And this is on point look right here it's pretty dope this is um, on the brit gq so this is kind of like a rocker style but you can see how he's wearing it he has the all black but he has an oversized t-shirt you can't really tell from the screen i don't know if i can zoom in there but you can see it's an oversized black t-shirt and then he has a sweatshirt and then he has a nice old school grudge um lever coat here together which really pulls off the whole look together but also the buzz cut as well so this is a pretty grungy rock style type of look and this is something i'm talking about when it comes down to layering but at the same time you can make something look so simple with layering it correctly all right guys so the next takeaway i want you guys to see from nick's style is that he is being himself and he's being different of his style so Here's some great looks that I do believe that you guys can take away from this and apply into your own style. Being different is the way to go. You guys got to be different with your own style, your own personality, because in that way you stand out as it is. You basically become who you are. When you become who you are, you become the best version of that. So always be you at the same time. Always try to expand from your horizons. Always be the best version of yourself when it comes to your styling, fashion, personal life. But always be your best version of yourself when it comes to styling and always improve it. So yet again, I hope this video helped you guys out with breaking down Nick Jonas' style and incorporating some tips and techniques into your own style. Let me know if this video helped you out in the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts on this. At the same time, subscribe down to the channel. My name is Tulu, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.